As some of you may know, uh, coming up is the November elections on November 2nd, Tuesday, and life isn't full with baseball. So right now we have some students from Mr. Habler's AP History class, nonpartisanly representing um, both Kerry and Bush. Our first topic today is abortion. George Bush has taken action by banning partial birth abortion. He opposes abortion in any form and believes it to be ethically wrong. Instead, he believes adoption is a healthy alternative. John Kerry, however, wants women to have their rights protected. He has no official belief about abortion. He states he is a Christian man, yet he believes that women should have the right to choose. Now we're going to talk about the candidate's views on health care services. John Kerry wants to cut prescription drug costs by requiring the Secretary of Health and Human Services to negotiate better prices. He also wants to ensure that seniors in nursing homes receive quality care through adequate inspections. President Bush hopes that electronic health records universally are available within the next decade. He thinks that he can reduce health care costs and improve access to affordable care. Our next topic is gay marriage. John Kerry opposes the banning of gay marriage, yet he believes in civil unions. George Bush opposes it also, but believes civil unions to be an alternative. He wants to protect marriage laws and make stable families with a married mother and father a priority. On stem cell research, Bush is committed to pursuing stem cell research without crossing a fundamental moral line. He believes that stem cell research is in a very early stage, and while it may hold great promise, we should not overstate the state of science. Kerry wants to end outsourcing by getting rid of corporate loopholes, except he also plans to raise the minimum wage from $5 to $7, which while helping many students in the short term by increasing their pay, it may hurt the economy in the end by making American workers even more expensive than they already are and actually increasing outsourcing in the future. So Bush plans to make reduce taxes for the rich and amount a huge deficit, while Kerry plans to tax the rich and make tax cuts for the middle class, but he may encourage more outsourcing and make America a less competitive marketplace. John Kerry has proposed that he will reverse rollbacks made by the Bush administration to the Clean Air Act by plugging loopholes and taking aggressive action to stop acid rain and the emission of toxic gases. He also wants to restore damaged watersheds, protect wetlands, invest in waterfronts and coastal communities, and protect our oceans. He would also like to revitalize contaminated industrial sites, remove toxins from communities, take on traffic problems, and clean up our parks and make them safe. The last issue in the war, and one that plans to most affect our age group, is the issue of the draft returning. Rumors of the draft have been flying, and Kerry has stated that George Bush plans to reinstate the draft. Bush has disavowed these claims, but all the facts are still fuzzy, as are most of the facts pertaining to the war. Kerry has been adamantly against the draft. It's great to learn, because knowledge is power. It's schoolhouse rocking, a chip on the block, on your favorite schoolhouse. The ravioli's good. Bush or bush beans? <laughs> bush beans. Better. So who you voting for? I'm voting for Mr. Bork. <laughs> so who are you voting for? So who are you voting for? I vote for Mr. Burke. He's short. <laughs> what are Ralph Nader's votes on uh, education? <laughs> who do you want a Vin? I want a Vin. Vin. Okay. I sat my class and I put over my face and my Who do you think Pedro Martinez is going to vote for? Vinny Ramirez. How do you spell political? I could care less. That sounds good. Would you like to be the gubernator? I would love to be. Sounds good. Third, this bill meets our commitment to America's armed forces by preparing them to meet the threats of tomorrow. Our enemies are innovative and resourceful, and so are we. 
They never stop thinking about new ways to harm our country and our people, and neither do we. We must never stop thinking about how best to defend our country. We may all, must always be forward thinking. Who will do me once? Shame on, shame on you. It fooled me, we can't get fooled again. I'm George W. Bush, and I approve this message. In fact, I think it is awesome. Hey there. How you doing, America? I hope you're enjoying the freedoms and liberties that we as Americans enjoy. As you well know, ever since I took office, well, things have been really, really bad. Cut! That seemed like a good one. No, you said bad instead of good. Oh, I'm just finding my groove. I'm getting my groove on, as they say. <laughs> ever since I've joined office, things have really, really, really gotten good. Hey, Hollywood, what do you think looks better? How's this? Well, if I go with both, I'll go with the giant shovel and the little tiny, little tiny thing. However, there are certain liberal agitators out there who'd, who'd like you to believe that my administration's not doing such a good job. Of course, these are people such as Howard Stern, Richard Clark, and the news. Is that thing going to be back there the whole time? There's people out there that would like you to believe the economy isn't doing so well. Well, to that I answer, hey, for the two million jobs we've lost, that means there's two million unemployed people sitting at home watching repeats of quality television, such as The Jeffersons or Facts of Life. And that just equals more ad revenue to radio and TV stations. Cut. What do you mean, cut? I, I, that's not what was written. Well, then you can, you can do it yourself. Oh, I didn't see you there. You caught me mending my fences, one of the many things I do here on the ranch. Some of my detractors would like you to think that I'm not a, a friend of the environment. Well, that's just absolutely wrong. Nothing could be more further from the truth. Good Lord, that's chilling. Those things are about two feet away. Oh my God. And lastly, I'd like to bring to light a, a terrible thing that liberals are, are trying to do to you. They're trying to encourage people to vote. They're moving on, Mr. President, we're rolling. Organizations such as ACT are trying to encourage people to get out there and vote, which is just wrong. I mean, ever since this country was founded a thousand years ago. So stick with Bushy and don't vote and don't listen to liberals or Democrats or other Republicans that make fun of me or read the news, or watch the news, except for Fox. Thank you, and God bless. I'll use this weapon on that devil horse if I have to. Mr. President, they're just horses. It's okay. God, they're so fast. They look like they could strike at any moment. It's a horse. It's a very friendly horse. You sure it's not a bear or a puma? I can assure you they're very nice. Someone called Dick Cheney. Get him down here. Help! I'm George W. Bush, and I approve this message.